Missouri is taking giant leaps forward when it comes to tax cuts. The state adopted its first tax laws in 1917. What began as a half percent tax more than 100 years ago eventually topped out at 6%. That's 6% for everyone earning $9,000 or more. To better understand Missouri taxes, we're talking with several key people who played a vital role in reducing income tax. State Senator Andrew Koenig represents the St. Louis area. He led the charge for Missouri tax cuts that passed in 2014. In 2014, what we did is we lowered the tax from 6% to 5.5, and actually the, it's being phased in over five years, and the first phase in was actually this year in 2018. So uh, you'll definitely feel the tax cuts m much greater um, once it's fully phased in. Missouri Speaker of the House Elijah Har wrote the 2018 tax reform bill, which ultimately cut income taxes even more. But Speaker Har also played a vital role cutting taxes as a state representative of Springfield in 2014. What we did in 2014 um, was focused almost exclusively on income reduction. One of the things that we did not do at that time was look at uh, a business tax cut reduction. And so we, we had always said that that was a conversation we wanted to come back to at some point. Um, on top of that, with seeing what these other states were doing, we knew that, that our income tax reductions were not as far as some other states had gone. We wanted to stay kind of at the tip of the spear as far as economic development. Help me get a better idea of Missouri's tax brackets. We're talking about a threshold of $9,000. Yeah, that's right. So there's, um, we have 11 tax brackets. And so you're at $9,000, you're in the, the top tax bracket at 6%. And the reason why is because it was first done back in the 30s. State Senator Bill Eigel represents the St. Charles area and was instrumental in getting both the income tax and business tax reduced in 2018. Well, if you look at Missouri's income tax code, you can actually be below the federal poverty line and pay the highest rate of tax in the state. I don't think that was the intention of anybody to tax the, the folks on the lowest end of the income spectrum at the highest rate. And really, that points to a broader flaw with income taxes. Thanks for tuning in. To learn more about how the tax cuts impact you, visit MissouriBestMidwest.com.